Hey guys, welcome back. Today you're going to get to see more of Luna the Corgi puppy while we go over some of the do's and don'ts of puppy care. There are some common mistakes that even the most dedicated new puppy owner can make that will ultimately cost the puppy's life. So please watch the rest of this video to learn about the do's and the don'ts when it comes to owning a new puppy. I'm Megan with Happy Tails Pet Care and I'm a professional pet expert and nutrition consultant. My goal is to educate people about animals and help pet owners provide the best care to their beloved pets. See a pet in my video you like? Let me know and I will feature that pet in more videos. Do check rescues when deciding to get a puppy. Even for people who want to get a purebred dog, rescues are still an option. There are plenty of pure breeds in rescues. Some breeds are harder to find though and you'll have to look for a breeder. Do get your puppy at eight weeks. Do not get your puppy if it is younger than eight weeks. It is okay to get a puppy that is older than eight weeks, but make sure that they are not younger than eight weeks before you bring them home. Stay away from breeders that try to sell puppies that are younger than eight weeks. Your puppy should be able to walk by itself, it should not need milk, and it should have all of its teeth to be able to start eating solid food. Puppies need to stay with their mother until they are at least eight weeks old because they are at this time still relying on the mother's immune system. They'll also be learning important behavior while with their litter mates at this time. There are cases in which puppies are orphaned or other circumstances in which they do need to be bottle fed. So if you are looking to see how to bottle feed a puppy, you can watch this video here and you will get all the information that you need to know about bottle feeding puppies. Do feed your puppies high quality dog food. Do not feed your puppies canned dog food. I cringe every time I see people feeding puppies or even kittens canned food. That is one of the worst things that you can do for your new puppy. Puppies will have a very hard time digesting canned food and it will cause loose stools. If it is the only thing that they eat, it will cause diarrhea. And this will just cause your puppy to be very malnourished and they will start losing weight if they're having diarrhea all the time from the canned food. I always advise to feed a raw diet, which you can learn more about here. But if that is not an option for you, there is high quality dog kibble. If your puppy is having a hard time chewing on the kibble, do not resort to canned food. Instead, buy milk replacement formula for puppies from the pet store and then soak the kibble in this formula. Or you can also soak the kibble in warm water until it is soft and then your puppy will have no problem eating that and it will keep them much healthier than canned food. Do feed your puppy puppy food. Do not feed your puppy junk food and do not feed your puppy while you are eating. Most human food is not good for dogs and even homemade meals are usually not good for dogs because when we cook for ourselves we're using spices, herbs, onions, garlic, all of which are very harmful to dogs. And an important habit to get into is to not feed your dogs while you are eating at the table. Feeding them at the table is just going to encourage them to beg and it's going to encourage other unwanted behaviors. Do keep your puppy at home and only take him to the vet. Do not take your puppy to parks, pet stores, or other public places where you will encounter other dogs. You can take your puppy on outings once he is fully vaccinated and his immune system is stronger. There's a pet store that I shop at regularly and almost every weekend there is somebody bringing in an eight week old puppy so that he can pick out his dog bed, some toys, some treats, and anything else that they feel he will enjoy. And it makes me feel terrible because clearly these people love their new dog, but they are doing one of the worst things that you can do with a new puppy. They are exposing an unvaccinated dog to all kinds of illnesses during the most vulnerable part of their life. Taking a new puppy to the pet store or to the dog park is going to end up costing you hundreds of dollars in vet bills and could ultimately end up costing the puppy's life. We all want to show off our new puppy, but that is what social media is for. So post all the pictures you want, but do not take your puppy out of your house unless you're going to the vet. Which brings me to my next point. Do get your puppy vaccinations. Many breeders will get puppies shots at six weeks. However, at this time, their immune system is still relying on their mother. 
There is a period during the first few weeks in which the maternal antibodies are still present in the puppy's bloodstream. At six weeks, they are too low to prevent against disease. However, they are also too high for vaccines to work. You will need to protect your puppy from being exposed to diseases and you will need to get them vaccinated at eight weeks when you get them. Vaccinations need to be administered at eight weeks, at 12 weeks, and at 16 weeks. Remember to protect them during this time when you're taking them to the vet for these vaccinations. Do not put them on the floor at the clinic unless it's a large breed and you can't help it. Do not let them interact with other dogs at the vet's office and do not let other people other than the vet's staff pet them. All of those are just examples in which germs are being spread even more. And you already have to deal with airborne viruses, so don't make it worse. Do get your puppy microchipped and get identification tags to go on their collar. So many pets go missing every year. And it's not just bad pet owners that lose their dog. It can happen to anybody. Having your pet microchipped will dramatically increase your chances of finding them if they are ever lost. Even Petunia is microchipped. Plan on getting your puppy fixed. I'm not a big advocate when it comes to other animals and getting them spayed and neutered, but when it comes to dogs and cats, this is a very serious issue. Spaying and neutering is very important in preventing unwanted litters. If your dog was to escape, they will most likely come in contact with another dog and you wouldn't want to be adding to the problem. And if you do have more than one dog, that will help you by not having to have them separated all of the time. Female dogs will bleed, so having them spayed will prevent a mess. If you have your male dog neutered before six months, this will prevent them from lifting their leg to mark. Do keep your dog free of parasites, but do not use flea and tick medication on puppies. Personally, I really don't like flea and tick medication for even older dogs. My dogs never have any type of flea and tick medication prevention because their diet and good grooming keeps them free of parasites. In some extreme cases, especially with rescues, I do believe that it is necessary. However, with puppies, it can be very dangerous. The majority of pet poisoning cases actually are because of flea and tick medications. Cheap products are some of the worst. And these situations in which dogs have a reaction to the medication are very severe. It can cause seizures, brain damage, and can also lead to the dog's death. So if your puppy does have ticks or fleas, do not use any medication. You can wash them with Dawn dish soap, get them full of suds, leave them covered in the suds for 10 minutes. This will help kill the fleas. And then afterwards, just comb them down with a fine tooth comb to remove anything that is left. Do get your puppy a crate. A lot of people see the crate as something that is mean. However, it is not mean to keep your puppy in a crate for short periods of time. Dogs would naturally want a den to feel safe in, and the crate is that for them. It is their safe den. The crate will really help you with potty training your dog quickly. If you are interested in learning more about how to potty train a dog using a crate, there will be a link to my blog in the description down below so that you can learn how to quickly and easily potty train your dog. Another reason that a crate is really important to have is so that you have a safe place to put your dog if you're having a gathering at your house. Parties are scary places for dogs. With so many people, they can become confused. There's also the issue that they could bite somebody and that will cause more problems for you and your dog. And people may feed your dog food that they shouldn't be eating. And they, the dog can also escape your house during these times. So it's always safer to have your dog put away somewhere so that nothing happens to them while you have your guests at your house. The crate will be a very safe place for your dog to be during all of this, and it will be better if your dog is already trained to be in a crate. Do potty train your dog to go to the restroom outside. Do not use puppy pads. 
While some people have been able to use puppy pads efficiently, for the most part, this is not a good idea. Dogs are confused by puppy pads. While potty training your puppy, they will end up more confused by the puppy pads. It will take longer to potty train them and they will have more accidents. So training them to go outside right away is much better. Do start training your puppy immediately. Start getting your puppy into a routine as soon as you bring them home. Start training them to come, sit, stay at an early age and reward them for good behavior. It's never too early to start training your dog. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I put out a video every week about animals. And if you want to see more of Luna the Corgi, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you guys next week. She is a Pembroke Corgi with a tail. Her tail was not docked at my request because I don't like it when dogs' tails are docked. I like the way they look with them and I think it's a little cruel.